हेलो यूट्यूब दिस मोडर ब्लॉग इज गोइंग टू बी एक्सट्रीमली गीकी बट एक्सट्रीमली इन्फॉर्मेटिव टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट कंप्रेशन रेशोज एंड वॉट इज इट विथ दोज नंबर्स विथ टू डॉट्स इन द मिडल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट सो वॉट इज कंप्रेशन रेशो सो द रेशो बिटवीन द मैक्सिमम एंड द मिनिमम वॉल्यूम ऑफ द इंटरनल कंबर्शन इंजन दट इज दी आई सी की इज बेसिकली द compression ratio so it base it has a lot to do with the size of the engine the size of the piston the size of the combustion area so a lot of the numbers actually are derived from that the space and the volume how much can it hold how much can it combust uh and how big is the bang very simple language higher compression ratio engines are usually higher performance engines and if you have a lower compression ratio it is basically maybe it's a, a some it's a cruiser or it's a commuter motorcycle so i have some notes here i have created some compression ratios of some top 5 or 6 motorcycles my rs200 here the compression ratio is 11.2 is to 1 now when you compare this to a duke 200 which it is so closely related to The Duke 200's compression ratio is 11.3 is to 1. So you can see there's a point one difference. Like this. Now I got the Honda Shine, which is a very good. Uh, it sells a lot in India. Uh, the Honda Shine, a Camino motorcycle, has a compression ratio of 9.2 is to 1. Now look at where 11 and where 9 is. And uh, if you look at something like the Pulsar 220, the Pulsar 220, older technology, older engine, not that high compression ratio. it has a compression ratio of 9.5 is to 1 so it is in the same league as the honda shine but obviously it's a bigger engine so it will make more power now something like the dominar 400 the dominar 400 uh, very closely related to the duke 390 and the rc 390 the dominar 400 has a compression ratio of 12 is to 1 now if you compare the dominar 400 to the duke 390 the duke 390 is 12.6 is to 1 so you can see 0.6 that's a big margin with the duke uh 390 is that much more in terms of compression ratio the r15 v3 11.6 is to 1 which is even higher than my rs200 there is a direct uh, correlation between compression ratio and octane number that you need to put in your bike so i have explained to you compression ratio now i'll tell you that there is a direct correlation between compression ratio and octane number in fuel the octane number in fuel basically the higher the octane number the more resistive the fuel is to compression and then burning now i'm not saying the fuel doesn't burn it just means that it it holds on longer till it actually burns so on a higher compression ratio engine let's take the duke 390s engine for an example there is air and uh, petrol mixture on top of the piston uh, on top of the cylinder what is happening is the cylinder is coming towards the air and fuel mixture what happens in a high compression because it's such high ratios before the piston actually hits the top because of the compression of the volume the fuel and air explodes beforehand if you have low octane fuel now what happens is that creates a knocking sound it starts because there are explosions taking place before the spark plug is ignited ideally you want the piston to go up here and then the spark plugs firing and then you have an explosion and which hits the piston back down and then you have the strokes going in and out but if you have low octane fuel before the piston has hit the top explosion now what high octane fuel does is it it allows it resists the compression 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 and it explodes when the engine actually needs it to explode that's basically the function of high octane fuel now there are uh, like the duke 390 dominar 400 the s1000 rr these are very high compression ratio engines so you they need the this to wait not so much on a single but on a, a, a twin or a, a v4 engine you need that compression because there's so many cylinders running now what happens is if you this knocking can crack the um the cylinder it can create havoc with the piston rings if it's done badly so a higher compression ratio engine or sports bike 1000 cc or 650 cc 900 800 cc they need that high octane fuel to run so if they don't get high octane fuel that doesn't mean they cannot run they can run but then you need to keep the rpms intact also 
the compression ratio has a lot to do with RPMs. Because the higher the bike goes in the rev range, the more it's going to keep banging, banging, banging. And if you have fuel that is less resistive, imagine the amount of explosions that are going to go untapped. And, you know, not making any power and you're going to create real havoc in the engine. And engines do have a mechanism which helps them deal with this knocking problem if the fuel isn't up to the mark. But it doesn't really finish the problem altogether. So now that I've told you everything about octane number and compression ratio, what is available in India? In India, the base fuel that we buy is 91 octane, thanks to BS6 norms. Uh, our fuel became a little cleaner, the octane number went higher because previously we had 87 octane. Now it's come, gone up to 91 octane, so that's the normal fuel that we buy. Uh, that's 91 octane. If you buy power or uh, speed, that's 91 octane plus fuel additives and detergents that keep the engine cleaner, like I told you. And then you have 97 octane, that is extra premium, which are used on like sports bikes and 600 and 800 cc bikes. So, ideally, you know, we can put in normal fuel in our motorcycles, but every once in a while power wouldn't hurt to clean the insides of the engine. So that is all for this video guys, I will see you in the next one. I hope you will enjoy this video and it's been extremely informative. I had a lot of fun doing this video because I do a lot of research and dig up numbers and dig up figures. So this is great, I hope you will enjoy this video. As usual, like, share, subscribe. If you don't like the video, press the dislike button. It tells me where I am going. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one.